This is a Spree Model Network TV and you're watching How To Jetty Programming. Today I'm joined with James who will help us explain a little bit more about how to program your Jetty 2.4 duplex transmitter. Hey guys, James with Esprit Model Jetty USA uh, here to show you something awesome just coming out. Uh, the only thing going on of its kind and definitely the first ones to do this. Uh, we're here to share with you the Spirit and Jetty integration to give you an idea how it functions, uh, what it looks like on the radio, um, and how you achieve it. Um, I've got the model powered up. I've got the radio on. I'm going to go ahead and go into the, uh, to the, to the menu and show you how to get there. We'll go menu, uh, we're going to select model, go down to device explorer. Uh, first thing you notice different is now spirit shows up in device explorer. So you're going to hit that, gets right into the spirit menu and you'll notice something if you set up a spirit or if you're setting yours up now, uh, all those tabs along the top of the spirit desktop software are actually present in the, uh, the, uh, Device Explorer now. So if you click on General, you'll notice that the uh, the unit position, the swash plate configuration, and the flight mode are all in there just like they would be on the software. Um, jump back in, uh, go into servos. Here's where you set your uh, frequency and servo type for cyclic, for rudder. Uh, all your sub trims are on this screen, and then your travel corrections also on this screen. Um, sensor tab. It has everything to do with the gyro itself, so you set your sensitivity or your gains. Cyclic and tail gains are all set right here. Uh, your rudder, uh, your tail gain is set up a little different. It's set up through rudder common gain. That is a percentage over 100% based on the percentage you set in the radio. So if you set up 60% in the radio, a 1.3 uh, is a multiplier to that 60% to give you an idea when you're setting it up. Uh, here's also where you reverse the correction angles. This is not where you reverse your servo, so don't get that mixed up. Um, all of these things are done after your initial setup. Uh, if you're setting up on the Jetty EX bus for the first time, the first time you plug it in, you're still going to have to go onto the software. You're still going to have to set the unit itself up for EX bus. You're going to have to go ahead and do the diagnose tab in the desktop software. Once those items are done and you've selected your channel assignment in the unit, in the general tab. Uh, everything else you'll do on the radio uh, or through the radio through Device Explorer. Uh, it's really awesome. Nobody else has this kind of connectivity and you can expect a lot more from the De Device Explorer, Jetty, and, and our integration systems. Really easy to get this as well. What you'll need to do is you'll need to download the firmware for the unit uh, number 1.1 uh, from the either our site or from the Spirit System site. Uh, you'll need to download the uh, Win app, it's the Spirit 1.1 Win app, which is also from the site. That's for your desktop software. And then you'll need to download the Spirit bin file uh, for your radio. That'll be dropped into the devices folder in your radio when you uh, have it cooked up to the computer, just like you do for your updates. Uh, the other thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a special cable or order a cable from us. Uh, it's really easy to set up yourself. Uh, basically what you'll need is the male to male servo connector. Uh, it's got two male JR leads on either end. Uh, that comes with your spirit system. Uh, and what you can use uh, for the other part of this is you can use the spirit special cable. You can see I've already trimmed off one of the ends. Uh, basically what you'll need out of this entire setup is just the plastic housing from one of the individual leads. So it's really easy to do. Lift the plastic tab, remove the pin. Uh, you're going to hang on to that plastic housing. Uh, then what you'll do is you'll depin the signal wire, which in, on these is the orange wire, light orange wire. Uh, do the same thing. You'll lift the tab, you'll remove the wire. You'll place that single lead into the plastic housing that you set aside. Uh, coming up with a cable similar to what I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my unit so I'm not making changes to it. And I'll unplug it from the unit so you can get an idea of what we've done. Well, all we've done is we've separated your ground, your power, and your signal into two different plugs. Ground and the power plug into the rudder port with the ground 
farthest from the Spirit logo. The signal wire plugs into the elevator pitch aileron port, which is the last port on the unit, with the signal wire closest to the Spirit logo on the unit. Um, the other end will plug into the EXT port on your receiver. Don't forget if you're going to use EXBOSS, you have to convert that receiver over to EXBOSS. You do that in the uh, Device Explorer tab on your radio, and I can actually pop in and show you that real quick. For anybody who hasn't converted the receivers, uh, there is a separate video on that as well. Uh, but in the same place that we found Spirit, we'll find R5EX. Open the R5. Uh, first thing on the page is serial link. Uh, mine is already converted, but yours, if it isn't converted, it will say Jetty Box Servo Output. Click on it, select EX Bus. It'll take you back to the main screen. Click OK, and you're all ready to run your Spirit and your Jetty Radio together with the integration through the Device Explorer. Have any questions or anything? Like always, reach out to us at uh, JettyUSA.com or reach out to us at EspritModel.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.